Hello, this is a quick video just explaining how to get the functionality of the Chrome extension, which is the, the Readlang web reader and importer within Firefox. It's very simple. I'm here logged into my Readlang account <coughs> in Firefox. I just click the Add Document button. Then it gives me the web, Readlang web reader option, so I'll click that. And what I have to do is bookmark this it's called a bookmarklet it's it's a link which provides um, functionality to any other web page uh, to store the bookmarklet I will show the bookmarks bar within Firefox there we go and all I have to do is drag this button or this bookmarklet into the bookmarks bar now if I open up another web page let's go to let's say Le Monde which is a French newspaper uh, pick the top story and get rid of the uh, yikes okay <laughs> let's um, click uh, now, now that I'm into the article itself, all I have to do is click the Readlang Web Reader button, and then I get the the Readlang Web Reader toolbar, and I can click on any word or drag across any phrase in order to translate it to English, my first language. I can also access the Word Reference toolbar. It, uh, I clicked the open dictionary button and it opened this window which appeared off screen and I just dragged it in and let, let me shrink this window slightly and now I can read with the uh, help of extra definitions at the side every time I click a word it will show as well as the Google Translate provided inline definitions uh, translations then it also provides word reference ones on the side. Every word or phrase that I click within um, this article is saved to your Readlang account for you to learn later. Um, and if you want to click through to links on the page, you'll notice that clicking on them just translates them at the moment. Oh, yikes. Uh. <laughs> clicking on them <laughs> translates them. Ah, this web page is not nice. Okay. Ah, it did go through to that page. Hmm. Normally, let me open the Readlang web reader again. Normally, when you click on a, a link item, it'll just translate it to your first language. If you want to get the functionality of the website back and be able to click on links you can just disable the Readlang web reader and now I can click on these links and it'll follow through to the um, the normal behavior and show the page another thing you can do is let's open the web reader again on this page is import this article in a plain text format into Readlang by clicking the import button I can open it in Readlang and now this is available to me to read in the usual Readlang environment on this computer or on any of your other devices. Okay, that's the end of the video. Um, I hope you enjoy using it and see you later. Bye.